Uh, oh, my, what? What the heck? There's a, holy crap, there's a, hey. Don't be breaking my foundation. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is finally March. Oh, my goodness. I am so happy that it is finally March. So let's go ahead and jump on into the game here. Boy, winter sure, sure seemed to take a long time, man. <clears throat> it really did. Uh, but we are now finally in to March, um, which, you know, we'll call it spring. There's still maybe just a little tiny bit of snow left but yeah we'll call it spring um so yeah what we're gonna do Ooh, and our first blueberries too i haven't actually i don't think blueberry plants grow during the winter but they grow for spring summer and fall um anyway so um i have spent the last couple of days just you know doing the usual and uh, trying to replenish my nails um i've been uh, you know it's been kind of quiet as far as hunter attacks go uh, I did manage to take out a, a couple of moose, uh, so here is the footage for that. And as you can see, we also hit a locked uh, crate. And uh, I've had, uh, I don't know, I've probably been out maybe three times. And two of those three times, I actually wasn't able to find a locked crate. Um, which is a little unusual. Because I almost always find one. But that could also be due to winter time too. And, um, excuse me, I got, got, got a little bit of burps here. <laughs> um... Let's see, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, it could be due, due to winter time, but now that it's March, my understanding is, you know, the loot is a little less abundant in the, in the winter, but, the, you know, then it's back to, you know, it's, I guess, what you'd call normal abundancy. Uh, so hopefully um, we will be able to uh, start getting a little bit more of, of the loot because for a while there I was, like, super, super low on nails. I mean, completely out of nails, actually. Um, and, you know, ammo's been been kind of low too uh, so hopefully we'll be able to start building that back up a little bit um, you know the hunters when they attack the base especially when they get a double attack which seems to happen almost every time now um, you know I, I haven't really figured out who they are but two of the hunter groups attack us simultaneously so it's kind of a pain in the neck uh, but anyway I do have at this point in time 105 nails uh, which isn't a lot, but that's what we got. And so we're, we're doing really good on planks. We have almost 200 planks. Uh, so that, that's that been going well. But, uh, it, you know, again, it's just the nails. But I, what I think I want to do is I think I want to do a little bit of building in this episode. So it's going to be kind of a half and half building episode. And then we're going to go out and, and do some looting in the latter part of the episode. Um, we could very well get attacked today too because like I said it's been a while since we've been attacked but here's what I want to do um, you know for for the building so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the wooden planks and we're gonna grab a stack of the cordage now I'm gonna split these in half and then maybe split them in half again and let's hang on to 30 nails um, you know for repairing and then um, we that gives us 75 nails to build with but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out here and we're gonna start building a wall along our dock uh, because I have not really seen a whole lot of evidence that the AI is smart enough to come around the edge of the dock to come to us it seems like they 
they just kind of come here, they stop, and then they lob grenades and stuff at, at the base. Now, um, if we have enough materials, I might put one more foundation. I mean, eventually, and I mentioned this to you guys already, eventually we're going to come out to about here-ish and then, you know, cut this way anyway. Uh, but I think, you know, getting the wall up, what I, w I would much rather have them attack the wall than the base itself. Okay, so what we're going to do then to that end is we're going to make um, we're going to make one curved wall, and I think I'll make that a window wall too, so we can kind of look out and see what's going on. And the other thing too, even with you know a full size wall up, uh, you know we we sh still should be able to see uh, when the hunters come. <clears throat> so what they do is. You know, especially if they're Charlie or Alpha, is they run along the shore to about this point, and then they cross over here because this is the shortest distance. Uh, and then, of course, Bravo just does the same thing. So this is kind of almost always the path that they come along through here. And even with a wall up, we still should be able to see over the wall to see if they're coming. All right, so let's um, let's put this wall in place now. We want to start making. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to, we, we definitely want to make some windowed walls. The other thing I was thinking about doing too is, um, putting a, an extended platform out, uh, meaning this guy here, because if I can stand out on that platform, I can pick them off even before they get close enough to us. Okay, so let's, um... Let's move this over to here. Let's see if we can get it over here far enough. No, okay. So we'll have to move it in a couple of couple of trips here. Oh, we'll grab this again. Um, also, I saw your guys' comments about uh, the editing, and everybody pretty much said, you know, keep doing what you're doing as far as the time lapse and the and the cut scenes and stuff like that. Uh, so I appreciate you guys, you know, responding to that. And, yeah, we'll pretty much just kind of keep doing what we're doing. Ah, got it. <laughs> okay, let's move, <laughs> let's move this over towards uh, to the other end of the house first, and then we'll try and move it to the to the deck or dock. Dock, deck, deck, dock. Um, actually, can we put it there? Yep. Okay. Now let's grab it again. So what I'll do in this case is I'll put a doorway out. Um, let's just stick it here for the moment. And then I'll just stand out on that doorway. This is assuming I see them coming and I have enough time to do it, of course, right? And what we'll do is we'll just kind of stand out. Maybe we'll put the door right about, hmm, yeah, right about here-ish, I think. Okay? Um, and so let's do a, a doorway and a door. And then uh, the rest of this, I think we're just going to make walls. <clears throat> Though we should probably have some windows, too. The thing is, is they can, you know, they could potentially lob nades through the window and hit the base. So we don't want that happening either. Okay, let's flip this around here and, um, whoa, wait a minute, what? Isn't that supposed to stick on a corner? Did I just screw something up? Curved window. Wait a minute. What? That should stick right on this corner foundation. What am I missing here? Oh, it started to... Oh! Right, okay. I was... Okay, I see what I was doing. I was pointing this way instead of on the center. I was thinking this was the center. Okay, my bad. My bad. All right, now what we're going to do here, is, like I said, is we're going to put, um, we're going to put the doorway in here, and if we have enough time, you know, we see them coming and whatnot, we'll just stand out here on this little deck, and we'll snipe them as they as they come close. Okay. Now, as far as the rest of this goes, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a wall, window wall wall window wall so I, I think uh, one two three okay let's make three walls yeah we're, we're gonna run out of nails here 
Oh, thank goodness. We got rain now instead of instead of snowstorm blizzard. Yeah, winter sucks, man. <laughs> it really does. It, it, it'll be a lot better next year because we'll be much, you know, more prepared for it. But it was a struggle getting through it this time around, you know. We made it happen, though. It wasn't... We were never, like, in in super bad straits, I guess. Or dire straits, I guess that's another way you can say super bad straits, dire straits. But, you know, it, it was a struggle. It really was. And, um... Um, I think next winter will be much better. Let's grab this. We'll take the iron. We're going to have to make a new pick here pretty soon. Uh, oh, my, what? What the heck? There's a... Holy crap! There's a... Hey! Don't be breaking my foundation! <laughs> <laughs> that doggone bear was chasing the the deer all the way across the water to the island. Oh my goodness, that's funny, man. Oh, okay, I've seen it all. <laughs> I have seen it all. At first, I thought those were hunters coming because I saw stuff. Oh, nice stuff in the water, but uh, no, that wasn't the case. Okay, anyway, um, let's uh, wash up here. I want to try and get as much of this in place before the next attack comes. Okay, so let's take and put a wall here. And we'll put a wall here. I wonder though, see if we put a window here, they're going to have almost a direct line of sight to the base. So yeah, let's, let's also put a wall here. Not quite as much of a direct line of sight there but I still think we should probably put a window here because and you know I can look out it you know once they get close if I'm standing out here on this ledge then I'm quite vulnerable you know okay and then you know the plan here too is eventually right we're going to also um, upgrade this to to armor too and oh crap that's not what I wanted to do Darn it. Okay, so I can still stand here and shoot at them, you know, outside this window area, too. So probably, yeah, just a wall here is good. And can we make two more walls? No, we can't. We're out of nails. Darn it. Okay. Um, How much? We need ten nails to make a wall. Okay, so we have five nails left. All right, well, this is a start. This is definitely a start. And, um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So, like I said, we will uh, we will armor that up. In fact, how many plating, how much plating do I have? I'm quite a bit, actually. So, what else do we need plating for? I think we're going to need it for breach. No, we don't need it for breaching charges. We don't need it for claymores. Uh... There, I know there's something else we need plating for. What is it? Okay, let's look in here for a second. Do we need it for this? All right, we need it for the lathe, which, you know, that's a long time coming. We will do it eventually, but not for a while. I don't see the point in making the radiator because, I mean, in, even in the dead of winter, we, the, the, the wood stove keeps us warm enough. So, I guess there isn't anything else that requires planning. I mean, I know the armor does, but we've already made that, and it doesn't require planning to repair. So, yeah, why don't we... Oh, we should probably grab this, huh? Why don't we go ahead and... Is that... Oh, yeah, that's just a wolf. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and start armoring some of that up, too? Why not, right? Uh, let's put this in there and that in there that in there oh uh, okay so this all goes in here we're gonna put the remainder of the nails in here we're gonna go out and, and hopefully get some more um, because you know I don't want to run all my nails out we need to have that stuff for uh, for repairing we'll put all that stuff back for now I should have a whole mess of fat and I still have more fat even cooking up in there so let's just top that off and we'll put this in here 
And yeah, uh, oh, we're gonna need the hammer, right? So let's grab the hammer. Oh, no, don't do that. I'm just, uh, I'm expecting an attack at any, at any moment, you guys, just because, like I said, it's been a long time since they've attacked. Okay, so. Based upon, you know, the location of the BCU, you know, pro I'm thinking these walls here are probably gonna... Um, so this costs three. Okay, so we can do six. We can actually do six of these. Nice. All right, so let's do this. Let's do these walls here. Now, I'm going to want to also, you know, do the foundations too. Um, should we do that? Or this next. Well, we can do them both, actually. We can do... Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. So that only took three. That takes three. And that takes three. Uh, like I said, though, you know, the foundations... Whoops. Uh, also take damage, too. So we'll be... At some point, we'll be uh, upgrading those. But the walls are probably going to take the most damage. Nice. Okay, we're making great progress here, you guys. We're making great progress. We're creating a shield for our base and a, and a pretty tough one at that. Now, I don't think... I don't think the hunters will be able to lob grenades um, or, or grenade arrows over the top of this wall. And the reason for that is because they don't even start shooting until they're right about in this area here. And they're way down in the water. So I, I don't... I doubt they'll be able to get that over the wall to the base. But we'll see. If... If, in fact, that it they can do that, you know, then maybe we'll put half walls up to extend that even higher um, at a later uh, point in time. Very cool. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do a quick run around the island here, harvest the, the trees, and then um, I'm probably going to make um, a new pick because the one we have is in pretty bad shape. And then we are going to go out and uh, do some looting. I, I need some magnum... Uh, bullets. That's what I'm really low on at the moment. Okay, so let's put this back in here. And, oh, we got it. We're going to have to do something about our food and water and all that, too. Um, and we need to make some, some bandages. So let's make, say, two of those. Always want to have some of those on us. Uh, my my stuff is is needs to be repaired. You know what? Let's just do it. We got to get this done. Um, so we need cotton, iron fragments... I've got uh, 15 cotton built up. The next thing I want to do with this cotton after we do our repairs is I want to upgrade our animal pen to a free range. And then eventually we will also upgrade that, you know, to um, to allow up to three animals in it. Uh, okay, so let's repair this. Let's repair... Oh, we need some sinew for that, uh, which we have thanks to our moose kills. And that's just um, cloth for the boots. And then our pants and our shirt are in pretty good shape. Okay. And that still leaves us nine cotton. You know what we should do with that is let's go ahead and make uh, some padded cloth. How... We can make three of those. How many do we need to upgrade this to free range? You can tell I'm a little bit nervous about them dudes attacking us. Oh, we only need two. Uh, and then we need two ingots. Oh, you know what? We could probably do this. Um, yeah, we could probably do this. And then we'll then we'll grab. Um, well, what it'll do is it'll allow the chickens to get to level ten, and it will take less uh, food and water to feed them. Uh, looks like we also have a tomato plant and a cotton plant that's a mature. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do with that is... I don't have any more cotton seeds. So I think we'll just replant tomatoes. So we want to keep those tomatoes going because they're the they're the best food. The the best... Uh, Alright, I still have three cotton left over. The best carb food. Alright, cool. So let's uh, let's go back out here again. And what else do we, did we need for this upgrade? So we need two ingots, scrap boards, and adhesive. 
I have one ingot. Let's do scrap, boards, and adhesive. And we should have enough stuff to make another ingot. Let's do it. Okay, cool. So we're doing our free range upgrade. This is a really important upgrade for the animal pin. Uh, because here again, it lets them wander around, which in turn, it does two important things. It lets them get to level 10, which we get some really nice stuff out of a level 10 chicken. Um, and it takes less food and water to, to keep them fed. Fantastic. I'm feeling good, guys. I'm feeling good about where we are right now. Okay. Um, oh, you need some fertilizer. Um, I got a bunch of potassium here. So let's get that fertilized. You still have a little bit left, so we'll let you continue on. How's your water level? Yeah, let's rewater you too. Okay, we're going to grab this. Okay, we're good. And look at this. Free range, baby. The chicken should come out and start walking around. Uh, hello, chicken? Oh, duh. <laughs> we got to turn it on first. Why the hell wouldn't you turn this on? I Well, I guess you wouldn't if you, you know, let's say you're about ready to get attacked and there's a chance that the chicken could get hit. That's probably why you would turn that off. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I can't take me anywhere, you guys. You know I can't. I try, but I can't. Okay, anyway, let's continue on. Oh, boy. All right. It is, uh, it's getting on in the day. We really, we need to get, get scooch in here. So we have an extra cloth there, which we'll, you know, hang on to for, for other stuff that we're going to need. Uh, let's put all this stuff back in here. Uh, these go here. This goes here. That goes there. That goes there. This goes here. This goes here. And let's, um, let's just keep processing potassium there. We'll top that off again. I pretty much run my, um, I'm just going to put a fuel brick in there because we have lots of them. I pretty much run my um, generator 24-7 just because, you know, we want to make sure that we keep the refrigerator going. Okay, cool. So I think we're ready to set out. Um, are there any... Oh. Oh, no, that's my chicken. Don't shoot him. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I, I, I think that's why we, we would turn that off is, you know, if we were expecting an, an attack and we didn't want them to get hurt. But, I mean, eventually... You know, we're going to have everything in a nice walled-in armored compound, and then it's pretty unlikely that the chickens will will actually take damage. So let's grab this. Uh, where's the sun? Okay, it's, it's afternoon. It's early afternoon. So I'm going to hit the trees really quick, and then we're going to go out and see if we can find ourselves a locked crate, and really any crates, particularly crates with more nails in them. Okay. Uh, oh, look who's coming. Look who's coming. Okay, so... Interesting. Okay, so I guess they're not... Coming uh, to that to the spot there that I thought they were coming. But, let's go ahead and see if we can soften them up a little bit. Man, it is so damn hard to shoot these guys. Um when they're in the water like this. Where'd that guy go? Alright, you know what? Oh, he's stuck! Beautiful! Beautiful! All right, let's kill him with the cheap, the cheap stuff. Nice! Oh, I love that! Okay. That worked out good. Now, these guys were, were Charlie because of where they were coming from. So, when I've seen the hunters running along... Oh, nice. We finally got some magnums, too. When I've seen the hunters running along the shore, that must be Alpha coming along the shore to, to come across. Uh, oh, yeah, I think so. All right. Well, anyways, this worked out good, guys. This worked out good. So, they attacked the armored walls, which and they probably did very little damage, um, particularly, you know, with the arrows. 
We might have to put like a little stairwell or something in for us to to get back up there because I don't think the hunters would use the stairs. I don't think they know how to. Um, well, I, I'm I might be wrong about that. <laughs> actually, I hope they don't know how to. You know what we might actually do too is we might what we might do is put uh you know put a quarter piece um all all along here so we have basically a ledge all the way around here so we can walk out and get stuff oh more hunters coming okay this is good i'm glad they're coming now because then we can oh what oh we're hungry shit okay um because now we can deal with them and then we don't have to worry about them you know when we're gone Nice, nice. Okay, so that takes care of two of the three. Maybe the other ones will come too. I'm glad they didn't, they're not sending them all at me at the same time too. Plus we're getting a little ammo back, so this is actually working out great. It's a good day. We got to go eat though because we're hungry. And I have no stamina because I'm hungry. Okay. I just happen to have a steak and eggs. Let's eat it. All right. Um, and we're gonna still need something else, so let's eat two more regular steaks. At some point overnight, I'll have to uh, cook some of this stuff back up. But that's fine. Uh, all right, let's eat all of these blueberries, and let's eat. We're gonna start finding blueberries quite a bit, so let's just eat some more blueberries. And maybe a mater. That should get us all the way back up there. Okay, good. Um, let's get that water. I'm glad, uh, again, like I said, I'm glad they attack now because now we can go out and not worry about three of them, you know, coming after us. Um, if they want to bring the the other group right now too, that I'd be fine with that. That worked out pretty good though, actually. Um, there was only one grenade that was launched. I don't know. Did it make it over the wall? Uh, we should probably get the hammer out and check. Let's put this stuff in here, too. Is that enough for me to make? Uh, we should probably make at least one more of those. So we need planks and nails to repair armored stuff. Oh, it's dark. Here, let's turn this on. Not that that's going to help us a whole lot outside, but... Okay, so did they hit this? Not really. There's like a tiny bit of damage there, but... Uh, that's sort of kind of damage, but... I, I'm, I have to be really careful right now because our nails are so low. See, 1497... 1497, 1500, 1495, 1493. I mean, yeah, this armor stuff is just amazing. It can take such a beating. 747. So I don't think we even really need to repair anything at all. Um, like I said, one of them did lob a grenade up here. 749, 740. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think it got past the wall. Unless it got up on the ceiling or hit this wall, which I'm not seeing any damage at all like that. Okay, cool. So we're good. We are good to go. Well, maybe with a little bit of luck, the uh, the third hunter group will attack us um, overnight. And then that way, you know, then, then, then we don't have to worry about it for a while. So what do we got going on here? Um, let's get these and reload everything. Oh, yep, they're coming. Awesome. Okay, perfect. This is working out really good. You guys are cooperating wonderfully. Okay. Cool thing about nighttime is you can really see them coming easily, you know, with their blue blue thingies. Okay, so let's let these guys drift on in.
Okay, he's dead. And he's dead. Okay, we just... Where did that... Where did that land? Ah, oh, perfect. Uh, well, no. That looks like it's on the ground, too. Okay, is that it? Sometimes there's three of them. Oh, yep, there is one more dude. Let's greet him with our shotgun. All right, perfect. This is just great, you guys. <laughs> the game is really cooperating with us right at the moment and giving us badly needed ammo back. And we've been fortunate enough, you know, to be able to not have to waste a bunch of ammo to kill them. So at the very least, it's, you know, it's evening out. All right, so two of those nades just hit here on the ground. Uh, the one that was kind of over on the other side might have hit the, uh, you know, the side here. So let's just look. Oh, sh again? Wait a minute. What? There was four? Oh, they're underneath here. Okay. Now, look who's stuck. Okay, pistol time for you guys. Right in the head. Oh, shit. <laughs> Reload. Oh, this is working good, man, because they get trapped in here. I love it. Okay, any more? Is that me treading water? Must be. I mean, these defenses are are already working amazingly well, and they're they're not even all built yet. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, let's check uh, for major damage again. Yeah, that. Whoop, we better get the stuff. That deserves a a, a whack or two. Okay. Nails, planks, wood. Um, also, let's make sure everybody's loaded. You know, when they get stuck in there and I can just take them out with the pistol to save, you know, the better ammo, that's just, man, can't ask for much more than that. Okay, we got a full uh, magazine there. How much uh, magnum ammo do we get? Three. Okay, cool. Looking good. All right, now, is this damage? No, nope, that has no damage whatsoever. Oh, okay, this does have a little bit of damage. Um, this has a little bit. I'm not going to repair them fully because, again, we, you know, we need to get a little more nails first before we fully repair everything. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. 1477. Yeah, we can leave those alone for now. Um, we probably better give that a tap. All right, fantastic. Fan friggin tastic, you guys. I love it. Okay, so now for the bad news. <laughs> well, the bad news is we're out of time. So what we're going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, in this episode here, and then we will start up uh, the next episode in the morning, and we'll head out and hopefully have a really good day of looting, and we should not, it's very unlikely, I should say, that we'll get attacked tomorrow by any of them. We, we might. It's possible, but it's not likely because, you know, they, they kind of went through their little attack cycle. Um, so that means that leaves us free to go out and, and do some major looting, which we need to do. All right. Uh, this has to go up here. That goes down there. These go in here. So, yeah, guys, that is it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.